Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, I have to be nice, coming to you on a very exclusive and special interview uh, with your boy Nemo. Nemo, thank yes. you so much for having me. Thank you as for you doing always it. always do. Thank you. Um, we always make time for you. Oh, you know. You know, because <laughs> Nemo gives me exclusive rights, so we yes. have to make time for exclusivity. Appreciate right? it. I appreciate you. And here you go. <laughs> All right, so Nemo, you yeah. allowed us into the comfort of your home. Yeah. Why is that today? It's comfortable. It's hot outside, so okay. good inside, cool place, cool individual, wonderful individual. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. same perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you guys know uh, Nemo granted me an exclusive duo interview last. Uh, summer it was yeah and you can check that on my site um, and my YouTube had to be nice we did have fun on that yes, one yes we did um, that was letting the world know about you yeah it was the it was us <laughs> as a duo okay right um, but yeah that was fun that was mm -hmm. fun so to my knowledge you've gotten a lot um, done since what was that last July yeah, last last summer. Last, last summer. summer. Yeah. So, um, let us in. Let us know a little bit, like what's oh, happened wow. since last summer. Well, the first big thing is uh, the move to LA. Yes. We in LA as I speak, um, and that was a, a great transition, mm -hmm. and, and uh, just getting the connections down here, and, and, and really just getting settled in, and and um, you know learning how LA is and LA people are. I started a couple uh, ventures and things with uh, some of the people out here in LA, and um, we just continue to keep it going. Um, have the uh, the gallery album okay. that, that we're working on, and uh, just dropped the gallery book, the mind of a uh, the mind of a person with no money and no backing. Yes. Um, which is on Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon.com. That's available on Amazon. Yes. Uh, Nemo's book, uh, The Gallery. Yes, it was great. A mind of. The mind. Yeah. Uh, it's not your phone though. Anyway, yeah. we'll have a link down below for you to go. The mind first. of a. The Artists. gallery. No, the gallery uh -huh. of a mind with no money and no backing. I know my stuff. Oh, it's, it's still a baby. She's beautiful. He's I distracted. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, but go get that, please. It's, it's a great book. <laughs> we'll have a link down side. below for that. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Since July, you moved to Los Angeles. Right. We moved to Los Angeles. Y'all know by now that this is a, this is a thing. It's a twofer. It's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> um, anyway, so, so we've relocated yes. to Los Angeles. Yes. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, like don't get it twisted, okay? Um, just just to put this out there, like right. Nemo and I are married, okay? We um, do a lot of things together, but we are still two very separate entities. Yeah. Um, we just, we kind of do our own things and then come together uh, for support and collabs and things like that, just like mm -hmm. any other brand or business or entity would. Right. So when I do his exclusive interviews, it's still new to me, whatever he's doing. Like, I know yeah. what he's been doing, but I can't predict what this man's getting ready to say. So That's true. Uh, so we, just because we are together. Now I'm going to say something wild. Doesn't mean, like, <laughs> I know what he's about to say. No, she doesn't. Right? She doesn't. <laughs> I'm Let's still the it. traditional uh, blogger, interviewer, uh, journalist that has been granted exclusive rights to know what he's got going on. Okay? Just so y'all know. Alright, <laughs> so uh, you got the book out, you got, you're got working on the album, Yeah. Uh, right. can you give us any information about the album? Um, it's a single coming, I can tell you that. There's a single coming out? There's a single coming out from the gallery um, album. Mm -hmm. I don't even really want to reveal the name. Don't reveal, don't reveal, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I'll reveal it when the time comes. But it, it's a, I think it's it's a, a great, a great song and it's, it's very relatable to um, the arts and it's and it's uh, 
I think y'all gonna like it. You know, what, I, I love it. What made you pick um, this title, The Gallery? And then, yeah. so you translated it from your album over to your book. Right, right. So what, what's up with that? What's the connection? Um, just art in general. Honestly, um, a couple years back, um, you should know this. My first time, honestly, uh, ever being uh, or at an art gallery that I can remember. I mean, mm -hmm. true art. Uh, was maybe like 2012 mm -hmm. um, and uh, I just kind of fell in love I don't know what it was it was a connection when I when we were there um, I just looked at art differently you know mm -hmm. it's like you look at some pieces and it's like it's like in your mind you're saying to yourself that's ugly that's stupid what was you know but then I started really looking at it like what was this pain or this artist thinking right and I think it translates with the any artist that's in music or you know, it's it's very parallel to each other, so I just thought the two would go together. Mm -hmm. Okay. You hear Nemo's dogs in the back. Yeah. Okay. Bruin and Cali. Shout Bruin out to him. Bruin and Cali. Uh, yes. Name significant for his California move. Yes. Right. Yes. Um. Okay. So so from 2012 sparked that interest in art. Right. And since then, we see uh, an, a piece of artwork right here. Right. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about this this hat. That's yeah. <laughs> um, it just it was it's a hobby. Like I did it myself. Like um, I, I painted a couple pieces, mm -hmm. and um, it just really came out of a hobby. You know, as far as the painting part. Now I love art within itself, but I'm like I'm looking at it like let me, you know, paint some pieces and and um, Bassy out is one of my you know my favorites. You know. Uh, I've read up on them and I didn't even really know what, what it was yeah. before I, you know, you probably look at Instagram and, and you see all these people wearing these crowns and you're like, what? I didn't even know what it was. Right, right. It's a little trend. Right. It was a trend going on. I'm like, but what is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, who, who, who is it? Mm -hmm. And uh, I just really uh, was propelled to the story and really uh, captivated of, of what he was uh, trying to present, you know, to the people. And, right. and it's like. It was very simple but very complex, mm -hmm. and I felt my myself is you know I'm I'm a little bit like that you know it's like sometimes you you say well it, this guy's simple but I'm very I'm more deep than you know it's a lot of things under the surface. Yes. <laughs> <She> <laughs> I'm should, just agreeing. She should know. Can right? I take a look at this this hat? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, so we got a traditional California Republic hat. Um, Nemo has branded it with the Basial crown, and then we rotate around to the back. It's got Bastia. Now, if it's picking up the detail, I hope it's picking up the detail. But we got a white hat. We got our stars that are yellow, the crown, and the Bastia, and then of course Nemo's branded name here. Yeah. Um, but Nemo. Okay. Here we go. You you've done <laughs> other pieces of wearable yes. items. Yes. I. <laughs> Let the world know. <laughs> uh no. I, skirt. Yeah, skirt. I know. Let us know. Um yeah, I've painted um replicas of, of Bassi out uh, favorite pieces that you know because I mean his pieces is I just seen one actually that sold for 57 million 57 million 57 million dollars um, I don't have 57 million dollars not, uh, not, not yet so you know um, I just start uh, painting them and you know like and putting them up in the in the crib and, and just uh, using that as inspiration and you know but for you, other things. you got some kicks that you painted I do. I got some kicks. I, um, Nemo paints, y'all. Nemo paints. Everything. Shout out to um, Vlado um, Footwear. Yes. I just bought a regular white uh, pair of kicks um, out here in Cali, and um, uh, I wanted to, to splash art on them and, and mm -hmm. display, you know, mm -hmm. the crown and the basket. It's just everything that um, that I love. I put it on a shoe. And uh, so, can you tell us if I don't yeah. know if you can tell us? Right. Because you know my questions. He he was not pre screening my questions, y'all. No, okay. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I needed this. So uh, you know, drink up and make you talk more. Oh man. Can you tell us if Bassiel, the artist, right. inspired anything on the album that's coming out? Yeah. Um. The album in general. Um. Specifically, a single. Mm -hmm. Um. Which is. Mm -hmm. Which is <laughs> you almost got you good. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 it inspired the single that's that's coming out. Okay. Um, 
just growth. You know, that to me, that single that I'm coming out with, it, it, it um, displays growth and evolution and, and you know, we box ourselves in so much, you know, just simply because where we come from and, you know, you, people think you're supposed to stay there, you right. know, so it just, it just shows an evolution of, of myself and, and where I'm trying to go and, and my growth over the last couple of years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pause and be right back with y'all, okay? Yeah. All right, y'all back with your girl, Heather Be Nice, here with an exclusive Nemo interview yeah. um, about all his upcoming ventures and his book that he has coming out on Amazon and his album that he that's has coming out. out. That's out already. Oh, his book that's out already. It's out. Go, Sorry. please go get that. Go get <laughs> $7.99. $7.99. Right now. Um, and his album that's coming out, he won't tell us when the release date is. No. Um, and you moved to California, Los right. Angeles. So, yeah. Nemo, I have a very serious question. Okay. Okay. Alright. You ready? Let's go. Alright. So you moved from St. Louis, right? Mm -hmm. You moved from St. Louis um, to be in more of the environment where you can make connections and collaborations. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. um, but in a digital world, like we're, we're so able to connect with people across the world for collaborations. True. Do you think that moving to LA has uh, granted you more opportunities to collab with people and brands and entities um, throughout what you're trying to do, like the music and your artistry and your book. Do you feel like it, you moving to LA gave you more opportunity versus you living in St. Louis? I think um, LA um, in general, not just giving me more opportunity, but you made a valid point. Uh, you can you can do those things wherever you at in the world. Right. You know, I just think it, it, it inspired me more. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like um, you know, it's like watching a basketball game from the from the from the bleed section, nosebleed, nosebleed right. section. You know what I mean? Like you, it's only gonna be so. You you could you know that you're there, but you're like, I need to get down there, right. like you know, to play in the game. And that's just what I felt um, moving to LA was gonna give me a chance to to get that real feeling, that inspiration, and and really touch these people because uh, everything is through a computer. You can't really touch certain things, and you know, um, I mean, as soon as we got out here, uh, I was able to have a meeting, and it, I could get that feeling through and that experience through a computer. So. Right, right. Yeah. So, so yes. Yes, it, I mean yes. <laughs> Overall, yes, it, it 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 was, but it was more to me. It was more of an inspiration. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, it's just like a writer, um, you know, going to the mountains to write. Right. You know, oh, or, right. Like you know a what I'm saying? Right. Like Except a getaway. Instead of I wanted to be really inspired, and I didn't want to have to do a vacation and, and live my vacation. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So, what would you say to those that are still trying, that are coming from a town like St. Louis or mm -hmm. um, Detroit or uh, I don't know Nashville? Like, what mm -hmm. would you say if if they're kind of in a rut? Would you say you were in a rut in St. Louis, like with the inspiration around you? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say I was, I mean, I wouldn't say I was in a rut, but I needed more. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm a person that, that's always trying to evolve. So when you, as you evolve, you have to evolve where you live. You have to evolve where you, you lay down, what you see, what you hear. You know, those things are important to stay inspirational. I've had uh, guys walk up to me and say, yo, they would listen to songs and they would say, did you go back to Chicago? Literally, these right. are real questions from, from people that's, that's from St. Louis and was like, Dude, did you have to go back to write that song? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, but I do have to go to a place mentally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I just wanted to be in the game. You know, I met a lot of people out here. I made a lot of connections and it's a, a, and we just getting started. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, good. So, so, so what would you say to somebody who's right. there, still there? Right. Who may be looking for that inspiration? Who Go may have contemplated your, moving to Los Angeles or yeah, Atlanta? Do it. Just, I mean, experience comes from that. Just that experience. Like you can't, you can't talk up on experience. You just have to do it. You know, um, if you believe in it, um, then then do it. Uh, LA is a is a perfect town. Just not for music, it, but it's just a perfect town for opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, and and you know not um, to downplay St. Louis because it's a beautiful it's a beautiful city as well. But it just doesn't have as much 
outlets and the much um, inspiration and as much connections that a LA would have. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're thinking about moving, definitely do it. You know what I mean? Like either you're going to be the person that the what if guy or right. I'm in what I'm doing guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like so it just I just say just go for it. You have to go for your dreams. You can't you can't think about it. You just got to do it and be faithful in doing it. So with that being said, right. Um have you <clears throat> Since you moved here, right. have you made any brand connections with anyone? Uh, so many. Um, ironically, I know a lot of people may think me moving here, I got so many connections mm -hmm. just within uh, California. It's not true. Uh, um, shout out to Baldy um, and uh, over in China. Um, shout out um, Sizox. Uh, here in LA, mm -hmm. um, shout out Mo Eyewear, um, a company mm -hmm. from Spain. Um, so you know, I've got some connections out here, and and I, and I knew I, I knew Venture, and I think it's going to be a great relationship uh, between um, us and Art on Scene. You know, that's mm -hmm. uh, down on in LA uh, off uh, Sunset uh, Boulevard. Mm -hmm. it, it, so it's it's you know, I'm going in a different type of lane. So right. people may came down here and they'd be like, yo, I need to get the right producers and I need to get the right rappers. I need to be in that clique. To me, I'm a I'm a businessman first. I'm an entrepreneur first. Music is just something that I do well. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, I'm going to use every repertoire that God blesses me with. Uh, I'm going to be empty. And that that's using everything, just not music. I know? think that was the line out of your book. That was. You read the book. I kind of skimmed through it. You read the book. <laughs> Please read that book. Read the it's, book. It's, it's truth. really quick, huh? It's true. It's really, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like quick notes. Yeah. It's like quick notes. It's, it's a good book. All right. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So you heard it here. Like, sp speaking to an artist who has virtually built himself from the bottom up um, and opened doors and knocked down walls to get where he's trying to go and where he's already accomplished himself in. Just keep going for your dream and keep fighting. Don't let anybody hold you back, whether it's family or friends or um, your status at work or your finances. Is, is it all possible? Is it really true that it's possible that you can, you don't have to have everything together to move and, and change that was your dream? A, that's what the book is all about. It, I mean, and I didn't want to write it. It's so many, I know it's so many people that can easily come and write books to you when they're $10 million above when they're a right. hundred million dollars in okay now i'm gonna reach back and you know now I'm, I'm telling you my real life situations and what i really do and i i know a lot of people that's in my situations wouldn't give away those things right now right. simply because it's like yo i ain't i ain't made no serious money right. enough to be able to give them my secrets so they're waiting on that serious yeah. big money to yeah of course but this is like you don't have something to say at exactly this stage, exactly you know? i have something to give back right now right. you know what i mean and and it's it's possible so you know if I mean? you are in this stage uh what stage would you say you in Nemo? like between <laughs> between major household name success right and uh just starting on the ground like would you say you're accomplished, but you've got this much room. Where do you think you are in the stage of um, accomplishment? Like, do you feel like you are at a stage where you can speak and give something to the people because you of are course. successful? Or you should speak to them at this stage when you're still building? Yeah, I speak to them at this stage while you're still building because if people sometimes want to chart. And sometimes when you're so successful and it took so many years for you to write that book, you don't even remember all the steps it took to even get there. Right. So, you know, it's like, you know, just walking, walk with me through my journey. I, mm -hmm. I show you the same things that I'm learning. So would you say that your book is this little, this manual, this, this process yeah. um, to help those individual artists or groups or whatever you right. are um, move along through these certain stages at this point? Yes, yes. Okay. It's definitely a, it's definitely a guide. You know, it's a, it's a guide. Uh, when you don't know, you know what you're gonna do next. Because a lot of times, money determines um, what you're gonna do next. Right. Don't let money determine what you're gonna do next. Right. Just do it. Be innovative in because when you don't have, it makes you creative. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, 
I, I would say the book is definitely a guide. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Go cop the book. Please. The gallery. The gallery of, of a mind. mind with no money. And no backing. There it is. She finally got it. I just got it. I finally got it. <laughs> We finally got it. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's available now on now, Amazon. Amazon.com. For a little, little low, seven ninety nine. Okay? Yeah. Can't beat you. that. Um, so, Nemo. Yeah. Another serious question. Okay. <clears throat> do you, do you consume music like the way mm. you did when you were like a boy or a young teenager? You know, sitting up, we all had our stereos sitting in the room and daydreaming about life and whatever problem we thought we was going through um, as teenagers. And all we did all day, I know I did personally, was listen to music all day. Like, that was my out. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And it wasn't particularly because I was trying to get into music, uh, which I've been forced into doing. Uh, <laughs> but more so just yeah. to escape. Right. 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 So as we get older, we typically carry over those same uh, habits of listening to music. Right. We gotta listen to it in the car. We gotta listen right. to it when we getting ready. We gotta listen to it when we come home. We gotta listen to it when we go to bed. We gotta listen to it, you know, in those intimate nights. You know, you just gotta listen right. to a lot of music. A lot of music, exactly. So do you still consume music in that way? I mean, even with <laughs> wherever music is going today. Wow. Um. No. Honestly. And I'm telling y'all, why not? I honestly do not consume a whole lot of music. Well, do you listen to music? I listen to music. Aside from yourself. Besides, yes, yes. <laughs> let's let's get yes. I listen to music. Okay. Yeah, but when you're in a creative space, uh, as an artist, you know, I just don't like to consume a whole lot of music uh, due to I want to stay focused on what I'm trying to do, mm -hmm. what I'm trying to build. And uh, a lot of times, I just don't listen to music. So if anything when you comes, say consume music, what right. does that mean? Exactly? Listen to a lot of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a lot of people who listen to music in their cars, listen to music while they're in the shower, listen right. to music while they're chilling. I, I'm just, I just don't do that. And I know a lot of people may think, well, how? Because I've been asked that question too. Well, how do you get inspired? Uh, I'm just inspired by life. I'm inspired by the things I did last. I know mm -hmm. that they didn't match up to where I wanted to go with it. So. I want to do better than that. You mm -hmm. know, my competition is me. Mm -hmm. So you know. So you feel like the music might, if we, if you listen to it too much, like the music might alter uh, your originality, or you just don't want any ideas from, you know, because when we listen to music, right. we start to like maybe say the words they say, right. or use the phrases, the metaphors, or we we get really in tune to a yeah. certain type of beat yeah you know so yeah. do you feel like any of that that you if you do it it could influence i mean your originality that's i mean that's a it's a that's a definitely a way to, to to put it but it's also just um not really listening to the same genre of mm -hmm. music you know like if i listen to if i listen to music it's definitely off the scale of what i do mm -hmm. um and so you you hip-hop Right. Right. So you might listen to some, some rock or yeah. some eclectic. Yeah. Some, yeah. some or, or, or old R&B. Let R &B. us know. Let us know, Nemo. What do you like? Oh, man. If it's hip-hop, I listen to, like, old hip-hop. You know, Trap Called Quest. Mm -hmm. You know, the old yay. Yeah. Farside. Farside. Mm -hmm. Love Farside. What you know about Farside? <laughs> you know about Farside. You ain't heard a nice radio. Passing me. Look at <laughs> Yeah, you know. I'm not some little, you know. Yeah, like, you know, those type of, and, and you know, old R&B, you know what I'm saying? Um, some people I listen to, as far as he collect, I don't even know who they are. Like, <laughs> you just listen to them. I just listen because it's different. Okay, so, so, here's an exclusive, y'all. Right. Nemo. Right. What is your... What's the title of a Pandora or a Spotify playlist that you have? What's the title? Like what genre? You know, we can make these playlists right. on Spotify wow. and Pandora. Give me a name of one. You can look at your phone if you want. Or give me an artist out of one of your playlists. An artist out of one of my playlists? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. One minute. I'm going through my phone here. She's really trying to dig deep for y'all. <laughs> we want to know you. I know. Um, all right. Uh, 
going to 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 my history here. Just, okay. just give give me a, give me time. Um, you know how the ladies be like looking at their man phone? Yeah. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he really be on. Uh -huh. um, let me see. Let's see here. Man, I got so much. I have to. I have to see. And this is shows you how far I have to look into it. Because you haven't been I listening to Because I don't listen to music. Music. Got so you. this, so you know I ain't lying, right? Oh, uh, Lord. Okay, Coldplay. Coldplay. All right. Okay. Coldplay. Coldplay. The, um, what is it? What are they called? Like, alternative rock. Yeah, and I listen to, like, the best of Coldplay. It's not, it's not even, like, a particular album. Right, it's not the Jupiter album. Not the Jupiter. What you know about this guy? I know her, but I don't know her. He like, know me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he no, know me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Coldplay. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you feel about the way the turns hip hop is taken today? In what way? Mm, you said you liked old school hip hop. Okay. So that is referencing something that used to be right what why is it not like that anymore what do you how do you feel about the way hip-hop is going now it's fast everything's fast the, and what is i mean it fast by, in a good way no it's oh. fast in a terrible way to me mm -hmm. to me we have to figure out as as consumers as people that do music how to slow it down it's you remember when we used to get music when CDs were still popping, mm -hmm. you know, way before the streaming, and we go CD. And how long would you listen? How long would you say you listen to a CD before you like, yo, okay, it's time for another months, months, right? Months. So you live with that music, yes, right? I'm trying to create things for people to live with my music mm -hmm. again. It's it's always like the, you want that to be that go-to album that you just right, pop back in right, when you know right. you want some good everything's music. microwavable right now and <laughs> i think that a, a lot of things that people saying is microwavable that's no shot at anybody but if you're not giving anyone jewels and things to live by and that's what you would you would listen to music because you you're literally listening to the gems and the jewels right. that they drop the struggle that they were the, going through exactly. it, like we related in some it's way very, it's very it was very much like that now it's kind of disconnected it's like so the, who, the hottest song who would you say who would you say that somebody's out maybe they popping right now if, if you want to name name oh, wow. um, that you <laughs> utterly could not live with that like can't relate to he not saying nothing or she not saying nothing you want me to throw somebody under the bus basically I just want to know you how you okay. feel? Who, who are you saying? What rapper I would... What rapper do you feel? It's like popcorn. It's microwavable right now. What rapper do I feel is microwavable? <laughs> Whoa. It's, it's a ton. It's not even one particular person. Mm, who's first on top of my head? Man. Microwavable. Like, pop that ish and go on. Get, like, get out the way. You know what? I'm this. This is honest. This is this is honest time right here. Yeah, listen. I I I used to I used to feel Fetty Wap. Now Fetty Wap is doing his thing. Shout out to Fetty Wap and this whole camp. Uh -huh. After I start listening to some of his songs, I'm not saying that I, it's something that I would rock or you know, because music is like you have to mind it. You know, you have it's good music. You just have to find it. When I start listening to his music. I, I like Fetty more for his struggle and where he came for from. For his history, his story. His, right, and that's what but that would Fetty make me. Won't you come my way? That's, that's cool. I'm cool with it. You cool with it? I'm cool with you, Fetty. This is a good guy. I'm here. cool with you, Fetty. You don't want to say nobody. I like. It's so. Listen. <laughs> I'm gonna press you. No, 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 no. You I, know, you know, back like in 1999, yeah. when you would say you would ask somebody, "Well, who's good?" You'd be like, "Everybody," like, right? It's, it was it was that type of feel. Right now, it's like a whole. So it's 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 reverse. It's, it's like who's we, bad? Everybody. Everybody. Like it's a lot of people that they you know when you gotta go sit go sit down, man. But see, that's the problem. Yeah. The consumers are making them feel like they can keep standing up. Okay. Okay. Because we've fallen into these trends of these music and these dances and these phrases and these words. All right. We've fallen into it. Plus, the radio programming. 
is just what it is. Mm. It's programming mm. the consumer to want to sing, baby, won't you come my way? Mm -hmm. So much to the fact that you got ball players singing it, you got fifth graders singing it, right. you got women singing it, you got men singing it, you got single. It's just like there used to be a lane for musicians and the, their consumers, mm -hmm. right? So if you had, in 99, you had DMX, J uh, Ja Rule, like mm -hmm. Jay-Z, right, and mm -hmm. Nas, mm -hmm. their consumer, you knew who their consumer was. Okay. Which, I'm not saying stay in one lane, because right. as a rapper, we, we can stretch across pop, alternative, right. everywhere, Many, right. right? But who is your consumer? It's coming to be everybody, because everybody is programmed to what the radio well, is playing yeah and it's and it's a lot of it a lot of it is is the label i guess i guess it's the label's fault because they you know they telling you we just want to hit you know and when you're telling somebody we just want to hit you're just gonna try to get a hit mm -hmm. so we're gonna talk we're gonna take a talk about all the things that's wonderful about life all the money all the women all the drugs all of, we're going to take all those things, all the struggle and all that. They don't want to hear that. They don't care about your struggle. They don't care about evolution. They care about partying. Is that what you rap about? No. I rap about everything. I rap about overcoming. Like a lot of my music is is, is strong will. Like it's, it's, it's evolution. It's showing where you can be, where you are, and where you can be. <laughs> and the steps to take that. So it's it's flip. Yeah, it's, it's flip sides. Like I, I can talk about the street. You know, I'm from the hood, but I also, also can talk about how to get out the hood. Nobody's from the hood want to stay in the hood, and nobody from the hood usually glorify the hood. Hmm. So it, it's 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 weird. It's a weird space. So I'm trying to. A lot of my consumers and a lot of my fans, y'all probably wouldn't even believe. It's a lot of CEOs, and I'm I'm trying to figure out why am I attracting these people? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm attracting a lot of CEOs, a little a lot of people that already is somewhere in life mm -hmm. or whatever you know and that's i'm i'm seeing that's what i'm attracting and but that's what i rap about mm -hmm. i rap about overcoming and inspiration and maybe i'm their inspiration you know what i'm saying and maybe i could be y'all inspiration it's just you have to listen to me you have to grow with me and that's why i do these interviews for y'all not to just be buying into some a, another hit mm -hmm. another somebody don't you know, know the person you know what i mean don't know i don't do a whole and then people always say well why you don't do a whole lot of videos and i everybody always talk about it's the music business. I'm very good at the business. The music part is the easiest, the fun part. We go in the studio, we do videos. That's fun. Mm -hmm. But you don't know anything about the artist. Right. So I'd rather let y'all in on who I am and, and what I'm about and, and I'm a genuine person. I want you to grow with me so when you listen to the music, you understand it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's and how you came to that. Exactly. Right. All right, Nemo. Yeah. Anything else? We kind of ruffled some feathers today. I want to break Nemo. Let us know break who me. you are. Yeah, break me. Okay, give us something we can hold on to. Yeah. In addition to the book and the music. Please go get that book, The Gallery of a Mind with No Money and No Backing. Yes. It's on Amazon.com, $7.99. That's, I mean, that's nothing. You know, that's not even gas. So, you know, um, check the book out. Heather Be Nice may be featuring a giveaway. Um, Around when the album comes out? Around when the album comes out, we're gonna give uh, some free copies of the book. Um, it should be fun. And to let you know, the album is gonna be free. Don't even worry about it. But y'all gotta get in tune with me to get the album for free. You heard that here first. The album will be free. It's free. Whoa. Yeah, I'm, I don't. It's not. I don't. It's, it's not about the money. You know what I'm saying? It's about the uh, results. All right, we're going to leave all that information below that you was looking for. Yeah. Um, how to purchase the album. Scratch that. How to purchase the book. The album will be free. <laughs> and thank you to Nemo for giving me this exclusive interview. Thank her. Um, anything else? No. Peace right. out. I love y'all, man. Go ahead and be nice. for your own interview. I ain't nervous.
Okay, so 